Hello everyone, I'm Mary Rose Corrigan, Public Health Specialist for the City of Dubuque with the May 11th, 2020 COVID-19 update from the Dubuque County Public Health Incident Management Team. 16 new cases were added to Dubuque County's total since Friday. As of May 11th, Dubuque County has 197 positive COVID-19 cases. That's a rate of 203 per 100,000 population. To date, we have a total of seven deaths in Dubuque County. 2,251 people have been tested and about 9% of the cases tested have been positive. 29 people or about 18% of our positive cases have recovered to date. The state has updated the coronavirus website, as I've said before, so not all of the data I usually report on is available at this time. The state of Iowa added 916 positive cases since Friday for a total of 12,373. And I'm also sorry to report an additional 28 deaths since Friday in Iowa for a total of 271 Iowans. In all, there have been 77,792 tests. Iowans have been tested. Excuse me, that's about one in 250 Iowans that have been tested and 16% have been positive. And part of the reason that the positive uh, percentages are higher than normally expected is because we are only testing certain people with specific criteria who are usually symptomatic. Currently, 394 cases are hospitalized in the state and about 42% of Iowans have recovered. I mentioned in the past how things keep changing with this pandemic, including guidance from the CDC and the Iowa Department of Public Health. Well, today in Dubuque County, contact tracing for COVID-19 cases is shifting from the Dubuque Visiting Nurse Association to the Iowa Department of Public Health. Contact tracing is an important part of the process of supporting patients with COVID-19 and notifying people of possible exposure in order to limit the spread of the virus. In contact tracing, public health staff work with a patient confirmed to have COVID-19 to help them recall everyone with whom they've had close contact with during the time frame while they may have been infectious. Public health staff then notify these exposed individuals or contacts of their potential exposure as quickly and sensitively as possible. Of course, to protect patient privacy, contacts are only informed that they may have been exposed to a patient with COVID-19. They are not told the identity of that person who may have exposed them. And this is how we do contact tracing with a lot of communicable diseases that are reportable to public health. Contacts are then provided with education, information, and support to understand their risk, what they should do to separate themselves from others who are not exposed, monitor themselves for illness, and the possibility that they could spread the infection to others, even if they themselves do not feel ill. Contacts are encouraged to stay home and maintain social distance from others, which is at least six feet, until 14 days after their last exposure, and they're also provided with that date of when they were exposed, in case they also become ill. They should monitor themselves by checking their temperature twice daily and watching for cough or shortness of breath or the other symptoms associated with COVID-19. Contacts who develop symptoms should promptly isolate themselves and notify public health staff. They should be promptly evaluated for infection and for the need for medical care. And after the initial contact tracing process, uh, the contact tracers previously VNA and now the Iowa Department of Public Health do periodic check-ins with those cases to see how they were doing. And if a person does become symptomatic, in other words, a contact, they are also monitored. The Dubuque County Board of Health Friday voted to shift the responsibility of contact tracing for positive COVID-19 cases in Dubuque County from the Dubuque VNA to the Iowa Department of Public Health effective today, Monday, May 11th. As additional positive cases are identified in Dubuque County, more residents may be contacted by the Iowa Department of Public Health as part of this contact tracing. 
The VNA will continue to be involved in our public health incident management team response to COVID-19 by providing additional case management to positive and presumptive cases and strategic support to the businesses and facilities for prevention and mitigation strategies. This will be important as all communities increase their testing. Last week, through targeted testing for contacts of positive COVID-19 cases, about 322 individuals were tested here in Dubuque. Also, over 1,100 long-term care facility staff were tested. We need to be ready to assist these individuals with their test notifications and actions they should be taking. Having Iowa Department of Public Health help with the contact tracing will allow our public health incident management team to do that. Tomorrow, Governor Reynolds is expected to make announcements regarding the ending of many of the closures and social distancing requirements that are in effect until May 15, 2020. So stay tuned for more direction on how, how we will proceed on Saturday and thereafter. Thanks for tuning in today. Let's all continue to be safe, be smart. When in doubt, don't go out. Remember, we're all in this together.